this grasshopper tutorial we're going to talk about a facade system or a skylight system in which the openings vary and also the openings are oriented in a specific direction for example the north direction and completely closed off from the opposite direction in that case it would be the south and this script is going to be based off of a, a panel you know, duplicated by a series and then the opening is going to be defined by the height of of a three-point curve. So to begin, I have this panel set up. It's completely flat. It's simply two lofted lines, one of which is made up of two points, and the other in which is going to control the opening is three points. It's a curve, and the line is a line AB. So the reason I set up the curve is to have this midpoint, have the control of that midpoint. And as you can see there, it's the beginning of our opening. So say that opening is, is facing north, and you get all the north light, and you get absolutely no south light. Or, <coughs> you know, or ho however you use it. So to get started, we want to duplicate the panel. And by do that, by to do that, I want to set up a series and duplicate each line, and then and then after that, loft the lines. That way, the openings will vary with each panel, and you can get a sort of complex variable opening system. So let's unpreview the loft and. Uh, type in move, and we're going to move our lines in the x direction based off of a series. The first number in the series is going to be 0. The step size for each successive number is going to be the width of each panel, which I have defined here as just one unit long. and the number of values in the series is is whatever you would need and we can create a slider for that and name that slider geometry or number of panels and we'll set it as enters and the max about 15 Put that in okay and we'll do the same thing for the the curves. Just plug that into the geometry and it'll have the same number of copies. Okay, so if we lofted these and then previewed it's not exactly what we're looking for. That's basically a vault, and what we need is an opening to each panel. So the reason is because the way it's set up is it's one column with ten rows. So one group of nine lines, <coughs> one group of ten lines. What we want to do is make ten groups of one line or 10 columns with 10 rows and it has to deal with our branch and if you go to sets tree you could flip the matrix and that'll do just that so to preview it now everything is individualized and we can now loft each curve opposed to lofting everything at once we'll copy that down and use our curve and then we'll loft the two. So you can see that's the basis foundation of our system. But what we're looking for is a variation in the opening and what we want to do is rotate this curve you know, towards the south or in this direction. 
and also in a in a variation so each one will be different the further away from the zero is going to be rotated more oh you get some complexity and interest in the openings so what we need is a rotate 3d can move these over here. And the geometry we are going to rotate. Unpre let's unpreview the the panels. We're going to rotate each curve. Now the angle of rotation is by default in radians, so we need to convert that to degrees. And if you go to the expression, if you remember from geometry, it's rad a. So then we pull out a range. And the reason I'm, I'm pulling out the range is I want the the angle to, to vary based on the number of items in the in the list in our data. And also we need a domain so we can get the angle can be from zero to ninety degrees. So let's bring out a slider, I type it in slider. Change that to integers and the max will be 90. That'll go in our B to around an A. A will be 0. Plug that into the domain. Now, like I said earlier, the range is going to be based off of the number of, of, of items in our data. So N will be the geometry slider. And we'll plug that into angle. The center of rotation is going to be essentially the midpoint of each curve projected to the xy plane. So you want to evaluate curve, and each of these curves you want to evaluate and reparameterize them so the, the values are from 0 to 1 when you're evaluating, and we'll set that number to 0.5. See, that's all of them. Now to project, just up and project, and it'll be the first one to an, to onto a plane, and that plane is going to be the x, y. And if it's a facade system, that's going to vary whether it's y, z, or x, z. Or you can get a little more complex and dynamic based on your moving, but for now it'll be just x, y, and this will be our geometry, and that'll be plugged into the center of rotation. So it's rotating. It's what we need is our axis of rotation to be these bottom lines, which is this geometry up here. Okay, so if we look at the, we'll name this to rotation angle. If it's rotating to the to the north which we want it in the opposite direction so just set this b to under expression to negative b and also another thing is range is accounting from zero so you'll see a, a double line here so type in n minus one under the n component in range under the n input in range and you see it's sort of getting to get what we want all we need to do is loft each of those curves. So this will be our new input. I will this. And we could preview that. And unpreview everything else. So there you go, it's a it's a facade or you know, skylight system in which we have control. Of, you know the, and if you didn't have the, you know the range, every every one of them open accordingly to the, you know, according to the rotation angle. But this just creates some a little variation in it, so it, it opens more towards the right side of the of the top view, and we have control of 
you know, how many panels you know, one foot apart. We have control of the length of each panel and the opening height. As you see the perspective view, and also the width of each. So you can really create something pretty interesting. This can be used. You know, you can change up the the geometry or the the input curves that you're using, and really create something interesting. Well, I hope this tutorial was of use to you. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.